What's up everybody, it's Zion Sully, and it is a rainy day, which has resulted in, I'm sure, some pretty insane hair, but whatever. Um, just dropped my daughter off at daycare, don't have much on the agenda for today, and so I thought it would be fun to check out a PS4 exclusive called The Order. It's, um, looked pretty fun, I was always pretty excited by the previews, but it got a lot of bad rep right when it came out. Um, for being really short, apparently, like, I think some copies leaked or something, and there were people putting up playthroughs that you may have seen, where they were beating it in four, five, six hours, stuff like that, and so instantly it was like, well, maybe I will pass on that game. I don't really think I'm about to drop 60, 65 dollars on a game that I'm going to beat in a day or two, uh, mainly not because that's a huge negative for the actual game itself because if it's a really solid great game then that's uh, it's bearable you know retro games often when they came out were much around the same price or even more for games that you may be an hour they had a lot of replayability and stuff like that I've heard this one doesn't so I decided to pass but I still wanted to play it um, the red boxes around here have just started stocking Xbox One and PS4 games, so I'm going to attempt to pick up a copy of the order from the red box for I believe $3 and see if I can beat it before it is due tomorrow night. I don't have just non-stop free time to play the entire time or anything because I do have several responsibilities, but I do have more free time than I normally do today. And so we are going to pull in and hope that this red box right over here has the order. And if it does, then time to get playing. And if not, time to get searching. I could have just pulled it up on my phone or something. I believe there's an app that does that, but I didn't. So I'm gonna go see if they have it and I'll let you know. All right, I'm back. And we were successful. We have the order 1886 right here from Redbox that came from right around that corner. I don't know if you can see it there, but there is a Redbox there. And I got it. It was like $3 and some change after taxes, which to me sounds like a pretty good deal for a PS4 exclusive. So, we're going to get to the house. So, we're going to get to the house. We're going to put it in, and we're going to see if we can beat it before it's due tomorrow night. So, got home with the disc, put it in, discovered that my hard drive was full. So, I went ahead, deleted some games from PS Plus that I haven't even touched. And, of course, then there's an update. Figured it was going to be some massive, horrible thing, but turns out pretty lucky in the sense that it was like a 60 60 meg file if that's the only update doing pretty well pretty small it's already finished installing what little it had to to get the game going so hopefully we will be in the game and ready to go momentarily I'll do some updates as I play and we just finished installing and so it's time to jump in uh, all right, intro is done, and we're moving on to chapter one. Quick thoughts on the basic intro is: I basically did a whole bunch of quick time events to break out of prison, drown a man, choke a man. Also, probably a good point to state that I may bring up some stuff. So, if you want zero spoilers on this game, you may be done with this video because I may spoil a couple of things. I'll try not to spoil anything major, but I am going to talk about stuff. So. There will be some. But yeah, so drown a man by tapping a button, uh, snap a guy's neck by tapping a button, escape from a prison by tapping a series of buttons. I really hope this entire game is not just me having to tap a bunch of buttons, but who knows? And we are off to chapter one. Finished up chapter two, or chapter one, the second chapter if you count the intro, but nonetheless, it was called chapter one. And so far, not at all impressed with this game. 
um, beautiful, beautiful graphics. Like it looks marvelous to look at, but it is the most linear experience I think I have ever seen. There's even a moment where you have to aim and shoot this gun that you have to charge up, but you have like four seconds and then it basically triggers a checkpoint if you don't do it. Um, I found it really frustrating. Um, I got it the second time, but I was trying to actually like aim and, I don't know, play the game, but you don't really have time to aim. You just kind of throw your cursor at it and shoot. There seems to be a lot of that. There's a lot of button mashing for quick times and stuff like that. Um, the story is interesting. It's got to do with King Arthur's Knights and stuff like that. And um, a time a little bit later, we got some werewolves, things like that. So I'm hoping that it begins to let me have a little more control. But nonetheless, I'm going to keep going. So chapters 3 and 4 are down. No, 2 and 3. I'm really bad at counting. That intro has really messed me up. Anyways, 2 and 3, and I just got to 4. Um, chapter 2, you basically walk around the round table. And then look at some inventions. And that was the entire chapter. And three, you make your way for a hospital. It was the most fun chapter so far. You got to actually do some shooting. And there's this one really awesome gun where you basically shoot this powder and then ignite it. And that was actually really fun and pretty original. Can't think of any other guns I've seen like that in any other game. So we continue to press on into chapter four. Alright, so since last you saw, we have made it quite a bit further. You may not know the difference because you're watching a video, but I did a lot of playing without these little updates for various reasons like stuff going on around me, um, not being able to even record the gameplay at the time, but pressing on because like I said, I'm determined to beat it. At this point, by tonight, I played pretty late into the night, um, late for me. I typically have to get up pretty early, so late for me is like midnight, one, about as late as it gets for me. Um, so yeah, anyways, uh, I'm on chapter 11, I believe, out of 16, from what I've heard, and the game is better than I initially thought it was going to be. I still get annoyed at the mash triangle, mash X. Now slide the joystick across the screen and press this button fast as you can. Oh, reload the checkpoint because you didn't do it fast enough. All that's annoying, but the story is actually pretty interesting. And personally, I think I'm glad this game is going to be a short one. I don't feel like I'd want to play more than the amount that I believe I have left. Um, I feel like there's probably an hour or two left, and that feels right to me. Um, I think if they had made a 20-hour game, it would have been horrible, but instead, it's actually kind of decent. <laughs> Uh, that being said, I still at this point I'm saying it's a rental or pick it up for 20 You don't want to go pay full price for this because it is a single playthrough kind of experience. And I don't see many people being like, oh man, I gotta go play it again. The collectibles aren't even that exciting. They're just little wax canisters that play audio files. And unlike a lot of other games, the audio files don't even play while you're playing. You have to go to a menu and click them individually and listen to them there. So I've listened to a grand total of zero. But um, I'll probably make one more video letting you know when I beat it. Time, the clock is ticking, so I'll let you know if I made it in time or if I had to get a second day. Well, mission accomplished. We have successfully rented the Order 1866 and beaten it before having to take it back. <clears throat> you can see the previews going. Letting you know that it has been completed. And I would say that it was at least a um, $3 well spent. I got a good bit of entertainment out of it to have been a simple three dollar endeavor so I can't complain um, there's definitely some plot twists toward the end some interesting stuff the last levels 
really fly by. Like, the last few chapters are all significantly shorter than most of the other chapters in the game. And the final boss fight is probably one of the most disappointing fights since um, Arkham Asylum or Arkham City. I don't remember which one of those two had a really, really, really lame final boss fight. It's basically something that you already did in the game and just a little longer and no harder than it was the last time. But, like I said, for $3, I'm well pleased that I checked out this game. There we go, let's zoom out a little. Um, if you have the chance to get it from your red box, I recommend it. If you can get it on the cheap, I recommend it. It's definitely worth playing, especially if you're looking for an exclusive on your PS4. Just as I've said over and over, don't go buy the full thing. And if you get it from Redbox, don't forget to take it back or you may end up paying way more. But I figure you're that smart anyways. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed this Redbox challenge on the order 1866. If you did, leave a comment, click like, or even subscribe to the channel. This is Zion Soli, and I hope that you'll check out my future videos as well. Thanks for watching.